Hello and welcome to another video. I want to use this video to show you that every time you get a problem where your limit, your variable is going to infinity and the two terms you have when you're subtracting them from each other um, also go to infinity and remember you cannot subtract infinity from infinity. Um, what you want to do is ask yourself can I create a product of two expressions from whatever I'm given? If you cannot create a product, which means you can't factor something out, you say, okay, then I'll have to multiply this term by its conjugate and divide also by its conjugate so I can have a rational expression. And you know, when you're working with infinity, um, a rational expression is always the way to go. But you don't have to always do that if you can do factoring. So I'm going to show you the two ways you can solve this problem. Um, the factoring way is actually the faster way because um, you don't have to go through the whole manipulation that you do by algebra or L'Hopital's rule. But I'm going to show you both of them or maybe the three methods of solving it. Let's get into the video. So the first method I'm going to show you is by factoring, okay? So you want to ask yourself, uh, which of these is smaller? I know that square root of x is smaller than x, so I'm going to factor out square root of x so I can have something multiplying something, okay? So this is going to be the limit as x goes to infinity of, if I take out square root of x from here, I'm going to be left with 1 minus, if I divide this by this, by what I have outside, it's going to be the square root of x. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to say is, do I know what's going to happen as x goes to infinity? Yes, I know. So what I'm going to do is apply the product rule for limits, which is that my next term will be um, the limit as x goes to infinity of the square root of x multiplied by the limit as x goes to infinity of 1 minus square root of x. Okay, so now I've expressed this as a, as a product. Now with a product, I know what's going to happen as x goes to infinity, square root of x also goes to infinity. So this is the same thing as, well, I'm just going to write infinity, okay, multiplied by, what happens here? As x goes to infinity, this remains constant, but this goes to infinity. So you have a situation where you have 1 minus infinity, and what is 1 minus infinity? That's negative infinity because remember that you're subtracting a very large number from 1 which is going to give you a negative very large number which is negative infinity so this is what you have and you see the good thing is we know that you can multiply infinity by infinity and what you're going to get is infinity but this one is negative so final answer in this case is negative infinity and that's what your answer is okay now let's say you were unable to um, factor we're going to use the second method which is the the universal method because that one will always work this one sometimes will not work especially um, just imagine a case in which you had negative infinity it, it will not be very easy for you to plug in negative infinity under the square root sign uh, as far as real numbers is concerned so um, that might be a problem for you so but this other method will always work whenever you try to work like that let's get into that one so the second method is rationalizing um, the expression that you have. So this is what we have. We have the limit as x goes to infinity of the square root of x minus x. So what I'm going to do is multiply this by the conjugate of this expression, which is going to be the square root of x plus x. But I have to divide it also by that expression, which would be the square root of x plus x. So I haven't changed anything. Now let's multiply the top. We're going to end up with this. The limit as x goes to um, infinity of, if I multiply this by this, is going to be x. And the other terms will cancel out, but this times this gives me minus x squared over square root of x plus x. So now, as this is still subtraction, Mm, it's almost impossible to deal with. So one nice thing you want to do is just look at the denominator and ask yourself which of these terms is the highest power in the denominator? Well, this is it. So I'm going to divide the top and the bottom by 1, by x to the power of 1, because it is the term in the denominator that has the highest exponent. So 
this is what the next line is going to be. It's going to be the limit as x goes to infinity of, if I divide this, it's going to be x divided by x minus x squared divided by x over square root of x divided by x plus x divided by x. So we're going to get, um, this is going to be the limit as x goes to infinity of, we're going to have 1 minus x over, um, let me show you, this is going to be 1. This is going to be 1 over square root of x. Okay? Um, how do you know it's going to be this? Well, watch this. You, you notice that square root of x divided by x can be written as square root of x divided by square root of x times square root of x because that's what's going to give you x. So if you take this out, what you have left is 1 over the square root of x. Okay, that's how this comes about. And now we know that as x goes to infinity, this goes to infinity, 1 minus infinity. This is going to give us negative infinity over, um, what would this give us? Well, this goes to 0 as x goes to infinity. That's 0 plus 1, and that's 1, and so our answer is negative infinity. Now, this method always works because... Uh, it will involve some other algebraic manipulation, or sometimes you may have to use L'Hopital's rule to establish it, but I like the algebra of it. Okay, so remember, you can't subtract infinity from infinity, so you might want to factor something out and create a product of two terms or two expressions, or you might want to um, rationalize um, the term that you have so that you have a rational expression, and you can use L'Hopital's rule, or you can do algebraic manipulations like I just did. If you learned something in this video, give it a thumbs up and share it. And leave a comment in the comment section. I'll see you in the next video. Never stop learning, because those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.